Well, that's a relief. That could have been bad if it wasn't for the fire service coming to the rescue. Now, I don't think I need to tell you how vital the work of a firefighter is, but I'd like to introduce you to a certain firefighter you may not be familiar with. Meet Frank Bailey. He was known as being one of the first black firefighters in the United Kingdom during the 1950s, which in those times was not very common. But to understand how this accomplishment came to be, we need to start at the beginning. Don't forget, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button, share and subscribe. Now, let's jump into it. Frank Arthur Bailey was born in British Guyana, now known just as Guyana, on the 26th of November 1925. After completing education, Frank became an engineering apprentice and worked on a German trade ship as a coal trimmer, a position which involved all coal handling tasks. This led to him relocating to New York City and took up a position at a hospital initially working as a porter before going on to become a medical assistant within the physiotherapy department. During these times there were many types of segregation in effect on restaurants, schools, public places and within companies. If you are a person of colour, you are placed separately to everyone else. At the hospital where Frank worked was no different, but Frank had no intention of standing for this. He successfully led a walkout in opposition to the segregated dining facilities. According to Google's biography on Bailey, the subsequent integration of the dining facilities proved just one of Bailey's many successful challenges to an unequal status quo. In his late 20s, in 1955, shortly after returning to British Guyana, Frank moved to London, England as a political activist, joining the West Indian Standing Conference. He would attend a trade union's congress conference where a fire brigade union was in attendance and one of the fire brigade delegates was complaining to the conference that the London Fire Brigade would not hire black firefighters. This struck a nerve in Frank and when he inquired why this was, to his surprise the response was given that black were not educated or strong enough to do the service. Not one to stand idly by or the face of injustice, Frank applied to join the West Ham Fire Brigade and after two years operation he made history when he was accepted into service in 1955 becoming the first black full time firefighter in London and possibly the UK. Thereafter he applied to be the lead fireman and passed the required examinations but was never given promotion and every year he would reapply. Frank being a long time advocate for workers rights went on to become a union branch representative. However, in 1965 he left the service fed up with being systematically turned down for promotions whilst white firefighters were being promoted ahead of him. Frank would then transition into social work in the Royal Borough of Kensington and Chelsea in London and became one of the first black mental welfare officers and became a psychiatric social worker. During this time he became first black legal advisor at Marylebone Magistrates Court specialising his work with black youths before retiring in 1990. Frank lived for many years to the age of 90 and passed away in recent years in 2015. Over 80 London firefighters gave a guard of honour at his funeral on 11th of January 2016. In a statement read out at Frank's funeral, London Fire Commissioner Rob Dobson said Frank was a pioneer and rightly challenged the outdated practices prevalent at that time. He played an enormous role in the history of black firefighters in this country and his legacy is still felt today as we strive to make London Fire Brigade reflect the diverse community it serves. Recently, Google dedicated its daily doodle in honour of Frank Bailey and in a statement with Google, Bailey's daughter Alexis said, her father spent his whole life fighting against injustice and never gave up. He taught her to challenge things she believed were wrong and stand up for herself and others, even when it scared her. To echo the sentiment of Fire Commissioner Rob Dobson, Frank truly was a pioneer, fearless and not afraid to fight for what he believed in, and those who felt Pressed. This brings an end to this video. As always, if you like what we do, please hit the like button, share and subscribe. See you next time.